think confidence is like the number one gift I would give to young girls. And we saw that, you know, in our program, when they first started, it's like they were, they were scared to raise their hand. They didn't want to build a website because they didn't want to describe themselves. Uh, you know, when they first started doing coding, if they made a mistake, it, it, it frightened them and they wanted to give up. But for us, it was teaching them about the importance of failure, right? Teaching them the importance of try and try and try again. And, you know, by the, and, and also exposing them, you know, the key part of Girls Who Code, and we're launching Girls Who Code clubs in high schools, is we're making sure that we're inviting There's female entrepreneurs, having them come and speak about their journey, having them talk about you know, the things that they learned, how they're building their business, so that the girls see women who look like them. I mean, that's also the most important thing, especially for the girls of color that are in our program. You know, when we, when we started Girls Who Code, I couldn't even find one black female engineer in the entire city. Can you imagine that? So, you know, for these girls, and it, it's so powerful with Girls Who Code, we just had our uh, application process at, as Google, and you saw all these Latino, Asian American, African American girls coming in, you know, saying, I want to learn how to code, teach me. Um, and we see companies. <laughs> You know, one of my girls, Kadi, uh, came here from Senegal. And in Senegal, they don't give women or girls exposure to technology. And so within the first day of the program, we had to teach her how to use a mouse. But eight weeks later, she had built a website on how to teach other girls how to code in 32 different languages. Wow. <laughs> so if we focus on them, right, if we commit to them, if we treat, you know, I, Girls Who Code is not a nonprofit organization. It's a movement. And you, you talk about this in, in the article that you wrote, Chelsea, in, in the HuffPo. Like, this is the most important domestic issue of our time. The train is leaving. It is leaving. And we need to make sure that our girls are not left behind, that we Because if, if we leave our girls behind, that train is leaving without all of us. Yes, <laughs> exactly.